we begin with the words, Ele hadevarim asher diber Moshe el kol Yisrael ve'ever hayarden bamidbar. These are the words that Moses addressed to all Israel on the side, on the other side of the Jordan, through the wilderness. So various commentators have claimed that Moses, who is about to begin this immense speech, a book-long speech uh, to the Israelites in this book of Deuteronomy, uh, actually is recalling words that he once shared when they were in the wilderness. It's not, this isn't new to them, it's not new to him, it's in fact words that he shared along the way. Words of wisdom, words of resilience, words of hope he brings, and words of rebuke as well. There's a teaching here, right? Moses didn't wait to the end of his life to share wisdom. He shared it along the way. More than that, Moses shared it in some of the most trying times that the Israelites went through the 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. Those were not easy times. You think you have it bad, folks. Try wandering in a wilderness with your in-laws for 40 years. <laughs> but I kid. Uh, Moses shared the resilience of his time. He was in that trying and difficult time and yet said, I'm gonna share what I know and I'm gonna share my wisdom even in this wilderness. And so he did. It reminds me of yet another midrash, another commentary that the rabbis too, a theme in rabbinic writing, that when the Israelites were crossing the Sea of Reeds, when they were, where there were two walls on either side it says that Moses led the Israelites in song, Shirat Hayam, the song of the sea. And in the Torah, it seems like they cross the sea and then he sings the song and everybody sings it with him. And then Miriam sings her song and all the women sing and dance with her once they're on the other side. But the commentators say, nope, that's not how it happened. In fact, Moses, as they were crossing the sea, he led the people in song. Song of triumph and joy and hope. So there is the teaching. Whether we're in the wilderness, whether we're crossing the sea, we should not wait till we are safely on the other side. Not wait till we're safely on the other side of COVID. Not wait till we're safely on the other side of the racial injustice. Not wait till we're safely on the other side of any personal issues that we're dealing with. To stop and to share our wisdom, even in the trying times. Because our wisdom needs to be heard. To lead and to sing even as we cross the sea, even as we enter into the wilderness. Shabbat Shalom. Amen.